Hello again, my name is Mike Varell, Wyoming Beat Reporter for the Casper Star Tribune, and this is Fashion Watch, brought to you by Wyoming Central Federal Credit Union. Today we're going to talk about Wyoming's helmets, because they've got some new ones this year. They were kind of rolled out at media days, I got them right here. Uh, I'm just going to kind of break down each one of Wyoming's recent helmets and sort of review them give, them, give you my personal opinion, and see what you think at the end. If we look at this first helmet, the one that we're going to be using this year, it's got the, uh, the solid uh, brown uh, bucking horse with the nice uh, gold lining. Got to like that. It's traditional. It's what Wyoming's had for some time. You got the white backdrop, which Wyoming has used for almost all of their helmets. Uh, this stripe is a little bit different. You'll remember in the 90s, uh, the gold stripe was much wider. And, uh, and uh, the, it's kind of narrowed over time. And I think it's a, a clean, sharp look the way they have it now. On the back, you've got the numbers on both sides here, which I think is also nice. It's a nice touch. They had it for uh, previous helmets in the past, and they're bringing that back now. On the front, you've got Wyo across the front. Of course, they've made that move where they're doing Wyo across the center of their jersey, so I think that kind of fits in. When you look at this uh, helmet as a whole, I, you know, I like what I see here. It's uh, not too flashy. Um, it's kind of business first. But it's traditional. It's got your, your classic brown and gold. It's got your classic brown bucking horse, uh, which I think everyone has to be a fan of if you're a Wyoming fan. One thing I want to point out that I really like is uh, the brown face mask. It's kind of an individual, distinguished thing for Wyoming. It's something that Wyoming has and other places don't. I think that's a solid thing. It's not the biggest part of the helmet, but it's something that kind of stands out, and I like that. Overall, here is uh, your, your current helmet for this season. This is going to be the one that they're going to be using for the majority of the year. And uh, I think we got to give it a thumbs up. It's solid. It's not spectacular. It's not too flashy. But I think it gives you everything that you need as a Wyoming football fan and as a player. Oh, one last thing I'll point out. Cowboys across the back of the helmet as well. Also an obvious touch, but a nice one. Uh, this is the helmet that they're going to be using this year. Let's move on and look at some of the helmets in past years. All right, now we're looking at another helmet that Wyoming used last year. You've got the uh, gold bucking horse, which is a little bit different. The uh, gold bucking horse with brown lining. Also, uh, another thing that I think stands out fairly well. Uh, you've got the white back, the backdrop, but uh, you will notice that there are sparkles with this white backdrop. You're not going to have that for the helmet this year. It's a little bit different uh, touch. This helmet was used a couple times last season, mostly with either a gold or a brown uniform. You've also got the uh, brown face mask, which I've said before, you know, I like. Um, and the big difference with this helmet, of course, is this sort of flashy gold stripe. It's a lot different than the stripe, the one straight stripe you're going to see down the middle of the, uh, the current helmet. Uh, but I think it's sort of a, a modern touch. It's uh, a little, something a little bit different. This helmet, I think, uh, it's, it's not bad. It's kind of uh, mediocre. It's a little bit lukewarm for me. Um, it is a little bit flashier, and I, I did like it with the uh, gold helmets last year. Um, it's certainly not as traditional as maybe the one that you're going to be seeing this year. I don't think you're going to see this one rolled out this season. Uh, but it's got a nice touch. I think the, uh, the gold bucking horse is, is an interesting experiment. I wouldn't do it every time, but every once in a while uh, it's not bad to kind of shake things up that way. Uh, and again, this is a helmet that they used several times last season, but you're probably not going to see it again in 2014. And now to the helmet we've all been talking about, the brown mate helmet used last year. Of course, it's got this gold bucking horse on the side. I think typically it would have the gold bucking horse on both sides of the helmet. Uh, I really like this helmet. Maybe it's not your everyday helmet, but I think every once in a while it looks really nice. The mate, I think, is it's still the traditional brown, uh, brown and gold of Wyoming, but it's a little bit uh, different material. I think it looks really cool with the uh, brown face mask, I think is also nice. I think the, uh, the gold uh, bucking horse really uh, shows up nicely against the brown. Now this is a little bit more risque of a helmet because Wyoming has traditionally only ever done the white backdrop. And this is of course the, the brown backdrop for the helmet, not quite as traditional uh, per se. But I think it's a really nice change of pace. Looked really good with the, uh, the brown uh, jerseys last season. The big question is, are we going to see this helmet, the brown mate helmet again this year? Not really sure. That question's kind of up in the year. Uh, you might see it for one game. Uh, we don't really know yet, but that white helmet is going to be the standard one. This is sort of the dark horse. I like this one a lot, but uh, it's, its best days may be behind it. We'll see if we see it on the field at all this season.